<clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show. And I'm here to talk about some uh, NASCAR news. I haven't really covered any in a few weeks, so let's get around to it here. So the first thing I'm going to talk about was a, a report this morning from The Athletic. Was that Spire Motorsports is finalizing a deal to purchase Kyle Busch Motorsports, uh, Kyle Busch's truck team. The sources told The Athletic an announcement was expected soon, which happened a few hours later. And I saw this was a rumor that this could happen. I didn't know if there was any truth to it, but apparently there was truth to it. Um, and Kyle Busch Motorsports made the announcement about two hours later. And Kyle Busch announced um, today that he has sold KBM and Rowdy Manufacturing to Spire Motorsports. Included in the sale are the assets of Busch's NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series team and the assets of Rowdy's manufacturing chassis building operation and CNC machine shop. Well, at least for Kyle Busch, he got that 100th win uh, at Pocono in the Truck Series. But it's the end of an era of Kyle Busch Motorsports in the Truck Series. It just feels like all the old timers are turning over. Like This silly season never ends. It's been a pretty interesting silly season. Uh, it's kind of, it's the end of an air, but waiting on uh, Kyle Busch and what he does with all this, surely there's a plan. I mean, I imagine there's a plan with this. But it looks like Justin Marsh, you know, started a trend. It feels like the face of NASCAR is changing. But I don't know. I believe... A theory I have is he's just going to open up a up shop at the RCR campus. So much room for, you know, options on the side of RCR and gets him closer to the team and his family. So each building being over, you know, half an hour away. It's hard to be an employee boss of tow company so far away. And when Braxton Bush is old enough and starting to run late model stuff and then venturing to the truck series, I think it's a safe bet that I have a seat for him at RCR. But it all make perfect sense. If, um, that happened, but it's crazy. KBM and GMS, two top truck teams, are now gone after this year. Just crazy. But, hey, Spire's truck team is gonna get, is gonna get even better, though. But Kyle Busch uh, put out a big statement, if you want to go read it. Yeah, he said it was truck team Spire Motorsports, and there was, this rumor, like I said, was yesterday. I didn't know how much truth there was to it, but apparently there was a lot of truth to it. But maybe there's something bigger happening behind closed doors, I don't know. But um, Daniel Dye was, the rumors did say he was going to go to KBM probably until, um, you know, the rumors of KBM were going to sell their team to Spire. So. But Daniel Dial will still have a truck around next year. Um, Daniel Dial will drive a truck full-time for McAnally Hillman Racing next season. He will keep the number 43 truck. So, this kind of a question, I guess. Um, MHR is going to go to three trucks next year, most likely. And Daniel Dial will drive the 43. Can't wait to watch him wreck from mid-pack. But, yeah, um... I guess he can't wait to uh, kick some balls. What a nut punch. But as long as Jake Garcia comes back next year for that team, it's good. Um, the truck series, we're going over the purses for Talladega weekend. Um, cup is $8,806,315. A truck series is seven hundred seventy nine thousand seven nine seven hundred seven seven hundred seventy nine thousand seven hundred ninety dollars. So not truck series is just not a lot of money uh, for that series, man. I mean, at least in Cup, I'm glad the winner gets about nine million. But that's not how purses work. The, that's the money for like all the competitors. I think the winner gets like eight million or something. But yeah, it's probably why teams are probably leaving because they don't really get much purse money from the trucks. Yeah. 
So Stuart Horse Racing confirmed, as expected, uh, Ryan Priest. Uh, he will be, be back in the number 41 Cup car next year. Priest said, said it yesterday on Sirius XM. He would be back in the 41 next season. So, I don't, there's not really any updates on Amarola. This was just kind of an update yesterday on Ryan Priest, which he's coming back to the 41. So, the Talladega weekend for Saturday and Sunday at 9.30 a.m. on FS2, truck qualifying for Talladega. At 12 p.m. at noon, we'll have NASCAR race date. 1.30, or at 1 p.m. on FS1, the truck race at Talladega. 4.30 on USA Cup qualifying. And Sunday at noon, um, FS1 NASCAR race date. At 1 p.m. the pre-race. And at 2 p.m. the Talladega Cup race. Um, XFINITY's off this weekend. And temps are in, in the 80s, and only 10% chance of rain. So, some good news. Uh, as expected, two crew members, Tire Changer and Jackman, is suspended t for two races for Austin Dillon and Todd Gilland for the wheel falling off. And Xfinity, Jeb Burton, 27 crew uh, for wheels coming off at Texas. Suspensions are just for that series. It's interesting to me that nobody, nobody has pointed out that uh, was Kyle's team before the swap. So, so imagine if that happened to Kyle Busch. Would have been bad enough for Kyle. Um, David Gillen is returning to the number one Toyota Tundra for Talladega, so David Gillen's back behind the wheel. We will be there. So we had some more Xfinity news that dropped. Um, Hendrick Motorsports is adding two more Xfinity races for its number 17 car this year. Boris said will drive at the Charlotte Road Course and Roger Cruz will race Phoenix. This came out left field. Boris said driving the 17 car. It's good to see him back in the car. And also it's a big opportunity for Roger Cruz to prove he can be a future NASCAR star in that race. So, Sammy Smith will leave JGR to drive full-time for Junior Motorsports next year in the number 8 car. A pilot, Flying J, will sponsor. So, I think all three Joe Gibbs cars are open for next year. Now that Sammy Smith has left. But Chevy gets all the talent, dude. And Corey Hines is probably one of the last, like, good Toyota prospects they have. And they'll definitely bring him up to Xfinity next year. No doubt about it. I mean, I don't know who else they could bring in. Maybe he could do another year of trucks, but I don't know. I mean, I feel like it'd just be a waste of time. At least, in my opinion. A 38 entries for Talladega. Some notables, Chandler Smith in the 13, Brandon Poole in the 15, Herbst in the 36, Hosmar in the 42, Yaley in the 51, McLeod in the 78. I thought Austin Hill was supposed to drive the 62, I guess not. Um, 40 entries for 36 spots in the truck race at Talladega. Jennifer Joe Cobb in the 10. Greg Van Austin in the 20. Jason M. White in the 22. Chandler Smith in the 25. Brian Doza in the 28. Vargas in the 30. McGee. Keith McGee in the 33. In the 34, Brett Moffat. Bailey Curry in the 41. Jack Wood in the 51. Tyler Hill in the 56, Jake Drew in the 61, Kluber in the 75, and Clay Greenfield in the 95. So those are um, the entry list, some notables. And uh, Chandler Smith will drive the Rackley War 25 truck. Obviously, I never reported, but Matt DiBenedetto is out at the final three races. They're making the driver change. Uh, Chandler Smith will drive at Talladega. This is weird. I assume them kicking Matt to the curb was to get someone ready for next year. But maybe they just want him gone. The situation just keeps getting, like, fishier, to be honest. Uh, Brent Front Row Motorsports will add a second truck with Talladega, the number 34 for Brett Moffat, and it will give Zane Smith a drafting partner. 
So, some a uh, little bit of truck news there. And that's really up to this video. So, until next time, I have a lot. Peace.